This is my match video for the USPSA match held at Paul Bunyan Range, May 5th, 2019. I am using my Beretta 92 with G-Model Decocker and D-Hammer Spring in production division. This requires me to download my magazines to 10 rounds, though on a loaded start, I begin all stages with an additional round in the chamber. This is the first time that I'm using my new Gemini holster from Eclipse Holsters, rather than my UM84 with thumb snap. I found that the draws were somewhat smoother, but the quality of life improvement, not having to snap the strap at the end of each stage, was far more important to me for USPSA. It is important to note that the best production shooter of the match was bumped to open due to a magnet being on her belt from her PCC setup. In her match video, it is clear that she never used that magnet or any of the gear forward of her hips and followed production rules for all of her shooting and competition. Even though she was open, I am considering her to be in production for my match video. For this match, I am starting on stage 3. Are you ready? Come on. This stage was very straightforward. I earned a time of 22.1 seconds, a hit factor of 4.9579, and 74.77% of the winner's score. I could have improved this by shooting more accurately or much faster. For this stage, there was three courses of fire. First, you started on the left side of the box, shot all targets, moved to the right side, and shot the right target. The second course of fire was starting on the right two, side, three. shooting no, all targets, one. moving to the left, and shooting the left target. Right, Finally, starting Fight. at the rear, shooting all three targets, moving to the front, and shooting the center target. Are you ready? Stand by. Third string. Five seven five. Are you ready? Bye. I finished this stage with a time of eighteen point seventeen seconds a hit factor of 1.9813 and 66.52% of the winner's score. The main reason my hit factor was bad on this was poor aim. While practicing, I typically use the IPSC target rather than the metric target. This means that left to right movement in your aim is punished more by the metric target rather than the IPSC target at the same distance. Stage 5 could be started anywhere within the shooting area, and all additional mags would be placed on the table. This meant that you could start optimally from either the extreme left or extreme right. Most of our squad shot from right to left, however I decided to engage from left to right. This meant that I would be walking up to the poppers and shooting them left to right and reloading while the front poppers were falling. Additionally, a shooter who was going from right to left DQ'd while moving from the forward right shooting area to the rear left shooting area. They broke the 180 at approximately 190 to 195 degrees, and I was parallel with them along the 180, following them with the tablet as the second RO. This was definitely a trap for the 180 when moving from right to left. This definitely also influenced my decision to move from left to right. I shot this stage in 36.22 seconds, had a hit factor of 3.8653, and 81.58% of the winner's score. This was one of my stronger stages in comparison to everyone else. This stage began with your pistol unloaded on the table with one hand on each side of the pistol. All mags had to start on the table as well. The 
final six targets had to be engaged weak hand only. To challenge myself, I shot all of these on the plate rack. It did not go so well. I am not good at weak hand only shooting and had to aim approximately one plate to the left in order to hit. I also took 20 rounds to hit 7 targets. My time was 69.48 seconds. It resulted in a hit factor of 1.5256 and 54.69% of the winner's score. As usual, weekend practice is something that I need to emphasize more in my dry fire. Stage 7 was the classifier 3 11, El Strong and Weak Presidente. Shoot all targets twice freestyle, reload, shoot all targets strong hand only, shoot all targets twice freestyle, reload, weak hand only. May load for your next string. I don't need to do that. Are you ready? Stand by. I zeroed this stage because I suck and need to practice more. Again, weak hand and strong hand only dry fire needs a lot of work. Are you ready? Stand by. The second to last stage was fairly simple, and it was in my opinion my best stage of the match. It was technically a stage win in production, with a time of 22.3 seconds and a hit factor of 4.7982. Although I won production, had Charis's score been in production I would have had 76.8% of the winner's score. For this match I want to analyze my best stage against the first place shooter for the stage, Charis. Here we have both of our runs. My draw is slightly slower, and my double taps make up just a little bit of time. I catch back up by moving just a little bit faster from the front to the rear area, though this reload slows me down and generally is the biggest difference in times for our stages. The other thing that harmed me a lot for this stage is that I had a mic on the far center target in the initial target array. Otherwise, it was a good run, and had I made a solid hit on more targets, I would have given her a better run for her money on this stage. Are you ready? Stand by. The hard part was resetting the stage. There should have been a popper here. That popper activates a swinger, and this was not reset after the previous shooter. Due to needing to reshoot the stage, I was running out of ammo and had to borrow some from a fellow in range TV Discord member. I used some of his federal aluminum case ammunition rather than my wolf steel case ammo. Are you ready? Stand by. Killed myself there. On this reload, the aluminum case ammo fails to chamber entirely when dropping the slide with the slide release. I then don't lock open on the last round. That was stupid as shit. Your 
finished unload show clear if clear hammer down holster range is clear i finished the stage with 39.52 seconds a hit factor of 2.5051 and 44.72 percent of the winner's score i finished this match with a time of 236.81 seconds 485.86 match points and 56.17 percent of the winner's score the things that killed me at this match were my ineptitude at shooting weak hand only generally having mediocre stages when I was shooting my best, and bad stages when I was shooting my worst. I will be doing better in the future, I hope, and practicing strong and weak hand only very diligently in the coming months. Thanks for watching, and keep making yourself better.